welcome to the first video of Oodles and Oodles. I'm Kayla and that's Ashley. Hi. And we're going to do a book review for you guys. And um, we're going to have it in two parts because we have eight books and we're going to do four each. Um, so we're going to do it, we're going to read you or tell you what it's about, give our review on it, and then give you a number of stars that we would give it and tell you if we would recommend it to you or not. Um, the first book is House Moving Castle by Diana Lane Jones. It's basically about a girl named Sophie who, she's not supposed to venture out into the world, she's not supposed to seek a fate that she wasn't destined to have, basically. And along the way she meets the wizard Howl, who saves her, and she makes an enemy of the Witch of the Waste, who cursed her, cursed her to be an old lady. Um, no, that's not spoiling anything, because the fact it's on the synopsis. Um... And she has to strike a bargain with a fire demon to turn her back. And so she has to travel around with the wizard Howl and meet the witch the waist head on. Um, along the way, she discovers more about herself and Howl than she first imagined. Um, my review of the book was, it was a good book. I really did enjoy it, but it was kind of slow. Um, Studio Ghibli's version of it was much better, in my opinion. Um, but I would recommend it, and I'd give it about 4 out of 5 stars. Okay, my book, my first book is The Lightning Thief. It's book one of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, and basically there was this 12-year-old boy named, named Percy Jackson. And he, um... He's a demigod and he's about to get kicked out of school because he gets in trouble a lot. And he has 10 days to find this is lightning bolt and return it to him. Basically, that's basically the whole entire book. Um, there's a lot of action in this book, so if you like stuff like that, it's, this book is for you. There's no romance. Well, even the later books don't have a lot of romance, but it's kind of a subplot. But, um, yeah. I recommend it. And I give it four out of four and a half out of five stars. Okay. Um, my second book is Deadly by Julie Chavaro. Um, it is about a girl named Prudence who she's a sixteen year old scientist and right now everyone's getting typhoid fever. And everyone's falling ill, but there's one person who has worked in every single house that has gotten sick, and that's Mary Mallon, who's an Irish immigrant. And so she's been dubbed Typhoid Mary by the press, and so Prudence is on a mission to go figure out if it is Mary Mallon or not. Um, and either it's a discrimination against Mary Mallon, or it's a new exploration for the medical field. Um, this book was really good. I actually fell in love with it within the first few pages. Um, it's definitely something I'd recommend. Definitely something I'd recommend. And a part I really like about it is it actually has little pictures in it. And the way that the book is actually written, it's like a journal, basically. Like she's writing from a journal. Is it, the, is, it, is, it, is it the girl writing or something else? It's the girl. Because it's a, it says I, me. Okay. It's in first person. Did you did you give it a rating? I give it four four and three quarters out of five stars. Can you pass me my next book? Okay. My next book is Looking for Alaska by John Green. Oh. It doesn't put into my name. Okay, but anyways. Okay, before Miles Pudge Halter's whole existence has been one big non-event, and his obsession with famous last words has only made him crave the great, perhaps even more. <laughs> he heads off to the sometimes crazy, possibly unstable, and anything but boring world of Cobra Creek boarding school, and his life becomes the opposite of safe. Because down the hall is Alaska again. You don't start sentences with because. The gorgeous, clever, funny, sexy, self-destructive, screwed up, and utterly fascinating Alaska again, who is an event unto herself. 
She pulls Pudge into her world, launches him to the great perhaps, and steals his heart. After the nothing is ever the same. I love this book. It's amazing. But, um, I read it in about, I don't know, like four hours, I guess. But it's divided into two parts, before and after. But I'm not going to tell you what that is, because you're supposed to figure that out for yourself, but it'll be a m major spoiler alert. And she hasn't read the book yet. Well, I know what happens. Yeah, I know, but sh but um, yeah, it's a good book, and it's it's kind of kind of has romance, and there's some action in there, and it's it's a lot of jokes and stuff. But the kids are really obsessed with famous last words of people, so there's a lot of quotes of that in there. I'm just gonna say this now because I mean we have another John Green book gonna come in the next video. Any John Green book is good, even really boring. They're all really good. I definitely, I would, I myself would recommend any John Green book to anyone. Okay, but anyways, I gave this book 4.99 stars. Because it's, yeah, it was really good. I really liked it. And that is part one of the book reviews. We'll have the next video up as soon as possible. Yeah, bye.